allegations of much higher resignation numbers on Wall Street by John McAfee 20,000 plus extra resignations that no one is reporting reposted from nasaranews.blogspot.com John McAfee, Nasara News, March 16, 2012 Over 20,000 resignations house arrests are visible using data from the SEC Securities and Exchange Commission. The Securities Exchange Act of 1934 requires that publicly traded companies must report to the SEC whenever a member of the board or certain officers resign. Also, the SEC has a database named Edgar that is open to the public. After a little research, what was discovered is that corporations must report said resignations on Form 8K, Item 5.02. From there, it was a simple matter of searching only Form 8KS within a specific range of dates, and including the Boolean search terms resigns and resignation. I felt this would at least offer us a baseline comparison to see if there is truly an uptick in resignations, or if it just appears that way. I think you will be interested in the results. From the start of 2008 to the second quarter of 2011 the resignations remained steady at about 2,000 per quarter. Suddenly in the third quarter of 2011 they increased by 50% to 3,000 for that quarter. That's an extra 1,000. Then in the fourth quarter they jumped to 7,000. That's an additional extra 5,000 resignations. Now without the full quarter results for the first quarter of 2012 they are up to 16,000. That's an extra 14,000 resignations and increasing fast. That's a total of 20,000 plus extra resignations that no one is reporting in newspapers and nothing of course in the major media. These are people who were in sting situations but didn't know it when their opportunistic thefts of funds became a trap providing evidence of their wrongdoing. Reports of their resignations usually involve house arrest in many cases including inability to leave the country. Full exposure of their crimes will follow in due course. This involves financial houses and banks worldwide.